You know, first of all, insects are just intrinsically interesting. Well, maybe because insects are so common, we just ignore them, but they all have their own interesting and unique lifestyles and ways of existing, interactions with other animals and plants. Welcome to summer. I'm Nina, the environmental education specialist. And I'm Ellen, the interpretive specialist at MedPen. Come with us as we observe the summer seasonal changes at Alpine Pond and Skyline Ridge Open Space Preserve. Today, we're looking out for insects. My name is Jan Hintermeister, and I'm a docent naturalist. I've been volunteering with MedPen for maybe 15 years as a docent naturalist, but if you have good weather, you're probably gonna have butterflies in almost any kind of habitat you're at, whether it's, you know, bayside properties, uh, forests, grassland, chaparral, uh, each of those will host a different set of species. The same thing is true about, about dragonflies. If you're around water, Water is the essential component for dragonflies. They're very much tied to water in the similar sense that butterflies are tied to plants. Most butterfly species are, are connected to, you know, a particular plant species or family that their caterpillars eat and consume. In the summer months at Alpine Pond, you can observe many types of dragonflies close to the water and other insects like bees and butterflies nearby. As Jan mentioned, each insect has its own lifestyle and role in the ecosystem. Many farmers and gardeners can thank insects that eat pests. For instance, ladybugs eat aphids and mites. Additionally, insects are crucial for pollination, being food for other species like birds and fish, and many insects, like beetles, are scavengers that feed on dead animal and vegetation waste, which can create nutrient-rich soil. There are thousands of insect species, and they make up a majority of the world's species. Many of us have had contact with a few insects that are not so fun, like getting stung by a bee or bitten by a mosquito. But these are some ways that insects protect themselves or get food to survive. So go out on a sunny day in your neighborhood or in an open space near you and observe insects and their interesting interactions. Butterfly behavior is really fascinating. I think partly because it's so accessible. A lot of the animals that we're more familiar with, the mammals and birds, often tend to be really secretive. They do a lot of their behavior out of sight of human beings. And the human beings approach, uh, birds will fly away, uh, mammals will run. But so much of insect behavior, and butterflies especially, is really done out in the open. Behavior refers to everything an animal does, including how an animal moves, where it lives and travels, and how it responds to the world. Summer is a great time to observe insect behavior in particular. When it's warmer, many insects emerge as adults and their behavior becomes more visible to us. Dragonflies, for example, spend the first part of their life underwater of the pond, invisible to us and unrecognizable as a nymph. But as summer comes, the nymphs will crawl out of the pond, shed for the last time, and fly off as the dragonflies we know and love. All their mating activities uh, of dragonflies uh, occur around water. So whether it's standing water, running water, any kind of water, if you have water and you have uh, warm weather, you're likely to find dragonflies. When we're fortunate enough to encounter other living things, sometimes we have a tendency to focus only on their physical appearances, but we can learn a lot by noticing behavior too. So next time you find an insect, ask yourself, what do you notice? For every physical feature you find, challenge yourself to describe something about its behavior. Share your observations aloud with another person or write them down. There are some specialized behaviors that uh, butterflies have that I've always found particularly fascinating. One of them is a, a, an activity we call uh, puddling. This is where primarily male butterflies will gather at certain locations that are damp, places that just because of the landscape and the geology, dissolved minerals have been concentrated. Butterflies will concentrate in those areas and suck up the uh, minerals, dissolved minerals in, in the damp earth. In the summertime, they can really enjoy people's sweat. And it's an amazing thing to see a child you know, just with a butterfly in their hand going, you know, look, look, what, look what happened. Look who, look who came in. 
Um, so I really love to see that. That doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's really a magical moment. Animal behavior is not random. Observing how an animal feeds, mates, or migrates often leads to more questions about the animals, such as why are all those butterflies on the ground in that one spot? The more you allow yourself to be curious about animal behavior, the more interesting and unique animal behaviors you'll find. Exciting insect encounters await you. Well, if you ask the question, you know, what's my favorite species? You know, the answer is going to be, it's, it's kind of the next one. They're just all so interesting. If you're out in the right kind of weather, um, it's just exciting to see what's going to be around the corner. While looking for insects this summer, take care of yourself and animals near you by being aware of your surroundings. Reptiles like snakes and insects like yellow jackets are more active in the summer too, so be mindful of where you walk. Bring sunscreen and water because the summertime can get pretty warm. Thank you for joining us for Seasons of Open Space in Summer. We're here at Alpine Pond and Skyline Ridge Open Space Preserve and encourage you to visit this special place during any season. Bye! Bye.